In addition to the video on vitamin D, this will give you additional information from the Bible and the spirit of prophecy in ways that you can help share this with other people. Now, there is some good information out there and evidence and published journal evidence that vitamin D in an Irish study called TILDA reduced the acute chest infection rate by 50%. There was also a study that was published in the British Medical Journal that showed that daily regular supplementation with oral vitamin D reduced overall infections. In a recently published study in the United States, they showed that low vitamin D levels was associated with a higher rate of SARS-CoV-2 infection. And this was regardless of geographical area, age, race, or even gender. This cut across all of those boundaries. In another study, they showed that in Europe, those countries with the highest mortality rate from COVID-19 had on average the lowest vitamin D levels, countries like the UK and Belgium. Whereas countries that had higher vitamin D levels, like the Nordic countries, these typically had the lowest mortality rates with COVID-19. In a Spanish study, they were able to show prospectively that supplementation with vitamin D reduced the rate of ICU admission and mortality in 74 patients. We've known for a long time that sunlight can be beneficial for mankind. Listen to these words from Ellen G. White. If all would appreciate the sunshine and expose every article of clothing to its drying, purifying rays, mildew and mold would be prevented. This is the only way rooms can be kept from impurities. Every room in our dwellings should be daily thrown open to the healthful rays of the sun and the purifying air should be invited in. This will be a preventative of disease. The second quote is from Testimonies for the Church, Volume 2, page 531. Exercise and a free and abundant use of the air and sunlight would give life and strength to the emaciated. The third quote, of course, is my favorite. It's from the health reformer, May 1st, 1871. The feeble ones should press out into the sunshine as earnestly and naturally as do the shaded plants and vines. The pale and sickly grain blade that has struggled up out of the cold of early spring puts out the natural and healthy deep green after enjoying for a few days the health and life-giving rays of the sun. Go out into the light and warmth of the glorious sun, you pale and sickly ones, and share with vegetation its life-giving, health-dealing power. Here we see practical and simple remedies that can be used in conjunction with modern medical techniques to enhance our God-given immune system. Get out into the sunlight and get exposed to light, and if you can't, then take some vitamin D.